Good morning, good morning, good morning. Buenos dias, mi gente. Yogi, welcome to Daily Discipline number 560, primarily in a row. My name's Rob Hoback. I'm happy that you're here, honored and humbled that you keep coming back like for reals. Hey, uh, sorry I'm late. It's a struggle, uh, and we're trying some new stuff here. Uh, struggling with the lighting, it's difficult. Just continuous improvement, right? But the picture here is much better, and we don't have a lag. And I'm trying some headsets. So anyway, it's daily discipline number 560. It's 429.20. That means it's a hump day. Hump day. It's for you, Aunt Barb. Um, it's a work day. I'm sure you got work to do. I'm already behind. So let's do this. First things first, still the realist. I'm also tough. Yeah. Uh, Jack this week has been saying that uh, I'm mean because I won't let him do certain things. Not mean, I'm tough. I can be on the, sometimes I can teeter towards mean, but let's just stick with tough. Right. Um, moving on to our real talk. Right. You want to play some Uno? Right. Everybody loves that game. Right. And so, uh, you know, here at, uh, you know, our day school, part of our routine is that at lunchtime, I like to go in. I like to hang out and have lunch with them and chat and everything. And so uh, the girls have been playing Uno and it got real competitive or it does get competitive because Andrea, who is the uh, Miss Emily, it's her it's her fiance's uh, little sister. She's been coming over. Uh, you know, she's a good playmate with Addie. She does her work, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, uh, they've been playing Uno. It's been getting competitive. And yesterday, as I was reheating the leftovers, I heard Addie getting frustrated because she's like, you've won every single time we've played, blah, blah, blah. And sis is like, I'm not playing anymore. And I said, well, why don't you just wait five minutes and play again? No, I'm not playing. I can't buy it. And I thought to myself, like, well, that sounds like all of us, right? Or sounds like me sometimes. Oh, it's uh, there's a pandemic and people aren't returning calls. Ah, yeah, right, right. And it's tough to confront yourself and be like, yeah, that behavior right there is it. That's just the the seven year old version of you. So I, I told Sissy, I'm like, look, sis, you just got to keep trying. I know you don't want to try right now, so just take a break. But then take a break and then go back and try again because you can't win if you don't play. And if you quit, then you're not playing anymore. So just give it a, you, you will eventually win again. And sure enough, like the first game she played, she just won just like that. She's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, yeah, see, that's how that works, right? So good for you. Just remember that. Every time you want to quit, just remember, like, you got to keep going. And uh, this morning, right, like it's, yeah, started in the middle of the night, right, just nonstop. And not whining. I'm just saying I'm a parent. We have, you know, my kids are here all the damn time. And uh, they wear me out sometimes. It's just like playing Uno, right? You just have to keep going. So, all right, uh, moving on to my thank yous. Number one, God is good. He's been good to us in the good times and the bad. He's being good to us now, even though it doesn't feel like it at times. I am thankful for my children, even the lazy oldest one, who's like they're all on my nerves at one time or another. But I'm very thankful for them, and I'm glad that they're here and that I'm not here all by myself. Thankful for the game of Uno, right? Right? We like to play that uh, with just our immediate family. Um, there's great life lessons there, so I'm thankful for Uno. I'm thankful for Aaron Rodgers. You know, this morning, uh, you know, I was listening to, you know, Golik and Wingo, and everybody wants to make this big deal that the Packers traded up to, um, you know, get an earlier draft pick and took a quarterback, which it is a big deal, right? But what's it mean? I don't know. And I'm tired of listening to, oh, everybody's tired of Aaron Rodgers, and then like, pfft. I'm just thankful we had it, seriously. Like most, with the exception of uh, Peyton Manning and maybe Ben Roethlisberger and Tom Brady, who else played during the time that that, that, that team would say, oh, we will, we'll trade you our quarterback? Everybody, except for those few, seriously. So thankful. I'm thankful for the thunderstorms that rolled through here. Uh, they were talking about it, um, you know, for a couple days that uh, between 4 and 7 o'clock, uh, it would start up, and sure enough, I was on the phone at, uh, and I, you know, I got cut off with an alert that there was a tornado watch, and uh, sirens started going off and stuff. So it was it was an interesting afternoon and evening, um, and I'm thankful for my network of friends on here. That uh, it just seems like every time I'm having kind of a crappy day, out of the blue, I'll hear from somebody and it cheers me up. So um, yeah, I'm tough, and it's just like playing Uno. With that, we're done for the day. Hands up. Peace out. We're better together. Appreciate you stopping by on Hump Day. We'll be back tomorrow on a thankful Thursday. We'll see you then. Deuces. Hashtag Real Talk. Bye.